Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Gold Rush. We are heading back to town now because we tried the panning, just doing the very simple way of panning, and we haven't really had much success. Now, we did get some bits of gold, but it doesn't look like they're registering. But, however, looking around on forums and on Facebook and that, it might just be that those pieces are so small that they're not actually tallying up to sort of register anything. So. What we are going to do is we're going to head back to town. Now we start out with 0.04 of an ounce of gold. So we're going to take that little bit and we're going to sell it to the blacksmith. And then we're going to use that money and do what we should have done to start with is buy the, is it the hogwash? I'm not quite sure what that thing is. And we're going to use that one. Uh, a few people have said, how on earth have I managed to get this game so early and yet know nothing about it? Um, quite simply, I bought into the Kickstarter, I had the pre-alpha, I did do a video on the pre-alpha, I'm just going to wait a minute, let it load. I bought into the pre-alpha and I did do a video on that, but I only played it for the duration of that video, so I did a little bit of panning for gold and we moved a couple of bits and stuff around and we set up some equipment, but I didn't do anything else, I did not play the game after that, I didn't play the pre-alpha at all, I didn't get involved with it whatsoever because I wanted the game to be new and fresh when I came back to it. And I am glad I did that. I, I stand by my decision to do that and I'm glad I did. So people have pointed out that I did make some rather sort of noob mistakes, rather foolish things and, you know, like uh, not dipping the big bath into the water and, and things like that. And yes, I agree, it was uh, rather daft mistakes, but we're going to move on from that. Today we're going to try and get that whole um, bigger wash thing. Now I did actually I uh, seen that wash thing there and I thought we could set that one up straight away but I did deliberately go for the smallest scale panning first just so that we could see what it's like so today we're going on the next scale up now we can uh, there's not actually a lot that we can do we can spend 38 uh, cents and we do something I'm not oh you melt the gold or we can just sell the ore that we've got and we don't have a huge amount of ore we can get $37 for it if we sell the ore. I'm wondering, I don't know, I, I don't want to risk doing anything else, so I'm gonna, just going to sell it like this, because we desperately need that money. We've got now $181, which is enough to be able to get the next item. I've got two of the buckets that I went and bought as well, and those are in the back of the truck, and I've gone and left one bucket behind. It's actually clipped through the back of the truck, which is a bit unfortunate, so let's just skid to a halt there. Leap out and chuck that bucket back in. I brought them with me because I'm hoping we'll be able to sell some of them back. It was definitely a mistake to buy those buckets and we will hopefully be able to sell them back to the shop. We probably won't get what we paid for them, but we'll at least get something. I mean, we need $150. That's all we need to be able to set up this thing. We can get like a longer shoot and we can do more to it later on, but for now we can set it up with $150. So that's what we're going to do first. We want to head back here and go into town. So we've got $181 now, which is more than enough to get going with it. And once we've got that, we'll... T uh, let me just stop right there. And if I can back round... Now, I really... I don't think that you can sell stuff. I, I really don't. Uh, because you can... You get the stuff and you put it in that point there. We'll just go on a bit further and we'll stop. Turn the engine off. Right. Uh, yeah, the stuff that you buy goes into this box, or the trailers go on to this bit. At least that's what I'm assuming. I don't think there is any way to sell items. We will just take one bucket, and we will see if we can do anything with it. But like I said, I really don't think that there is any way that you can bring it back. You can't return goods. And I don't think there's anywhere that you can, like, sell them or do anything like that with them. I mean, maybe if I drop it down in here... I may be able to do something with it if we go to the cash register. I don't know. So let's just t test that bit out first. Uh, warehouse, and, oh, uh, you just buy it and back. Okay, so there's, there's nothing that we can do there. We've got, okay, so there's nothing. Right, as we have nothing there, that one's taking up slots there. We don't actually want it to take up slots. So we'll dump this one. Let me just, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No, no, no. There we go. And we'll dump that back in there. Hopefully that will be all right. If I pick that up and chuck it in a bit further, there we go. And we'll go and get these bits that we're going to need. So what we need is this one here. You've got the hog pan sluice box core 
and then the sluice box extension we can't afford the extension but we can get that one there so we want one of those we add that then we want the hog pan no pump and we get that one just one add that in you can get a pump and stuff later on and sort of automate some of the process which is really really good this, this it will be what we want to do then we want to get some mats we're going to get two mats add those because you put the mats where it says number one and number two so you put those in there and then you start washing dirt through it and so we've got those there they buy it's 150 dollars so we buy those and we can go back out we can load them into the truck and we can get them back to the site so we've got uh, one mat there and I can chuck that in so I'm gonna get all of this stuff loaded up and then we can actually how am I, how am I gonna get this one into the pickup that's going to be a little bit more difficult I think uh, maybe try it like that you know what I tell you what let's open that and then I can stand up here and I can move forward and turn round and maybe drop it there we go that's how you do it there's always a way there is always a way to do these things so that's why you'd be buying a trailer later on is so that you can uh, pick up some of this stuff and move it around a little bit more easily but hopefully this first lot will allow us to do that. So if I can get that one to go in there and climb up, pick it up and just drop it forward a bit more. There we go. That'll do. I will meet you back at the claim with all of our stuff. Let's just slide in all the way across. There we go. I'll meet you back at the claim and we can start setting this uh, um, hog pan up. Yeah. Hog wash. Almost back. We've just come into the through the gate to the actual claim. I'm very impressed with the way that once you dump stuff inside the back of the pickup, it does hold still. So we've been bouncing around all over the place and it is actually holding in place, which is really, really good. It means that you don't have to worry about losing all of your load as you progress. So let's just slide to a halt right there and we are done. Okay, so we can't sell the buckets, which is a little bit disappointing, but we should still be okay with this. And the first thing we're going to want is that one. Let's just pick it up, move it out of the way chucked a bucket on the floor i don't like the fact that it holds it quite so close to you but um you know it could be a lot worse so let's just move that bucket over there and we'll also move the bath over here as well and yet the reason that i didn't realize you had to take the bath and dip it into the water up there is because i thought that if you had to fill it with water obviously that is going to be realistically too heavy for a person to pick up which is why i just assumed that you'd place it and you'd fill it with buckets of water and that's why it took me a while to figure that out yesterday um but i feel that that's probably an acceptable excuse and if it's not well too bad it's the only one that i've got so there isn't any more there isn't any other excuses going to be coming out right let's grab that and you can see it does you do get some clipping issues and like i said you can't see where you're going very well so th there is that bit to it which is slightly frustrating but that's okay and we can drop that one down there like that now we need to go and get those mats and we get both of those uh there's one it's a shame you can only pick up one item at a time so you do have there is quite a lot of uh back and forth running with all of this setup but it's you know we, we can still get there there's that piece there bring this one over so this is the second mat and you put that one in there like that so then you can get this one that sits on top and now what we do is we got to fill this bit up with earth so you get your shovel and oop, nope i don't want that one i want the shovel you just pick it up like that and e to use you put it in there so you can see there we're at 10 percent. so we just got to um fill this one up nice and quick and it's actually pretty easy and quick to do the digging because is literally right next to where you need to use this hogwash thing and i'm sure it's not hogwash is it it's what what is it i'm not actually sure so there's 40 percent so it, it is literally just going to be 10 percent uh for each shovel full pick that one up can we do it with a bucket could we put it in a bucket and then carry the bucket we'll, we'll try that next time so we do this here again and there we go and once more i keep pressing the wrong button you got it you got to click with the mouse to dig and then you press e on there to use it that's 90 percent. so one more and i love the whole deformable terrain thing the deformable terrain is absolutely fantastic that you can actually just dig holes and put into this thing that is absolutely fan schmabulous so what do we got in this one we've got earth in this one can i bring this you can it does actually work so i can put that in there 
It's already full. You're losing the pay dirt. Okay. I want to bring that one in there. And I want to fill it up with water this time. So you bring that one over. And then use. That pours in there. It's already full. You're losing the pay dirt. I should now... Right. Now you can see that the... Have we still got... Oh, no. There's no dirt left in there. It's probably going to flash that message up. So it's down to 62%. How far up have we got to go to use the water? Do we have to run very far? I pour that in. I'm just going to wash through some more. So those mats are at 2% so far. Can I just go to... Yes, I can just fill the bucket right from there. So that makes it easier. And it would be better if we could have the extension. If we could get the extension going on this, it would save us even more money. So that's now used up all of the dirt. It's all gone. We've washed all the dirt through. So let's just drop the bucket. And those mats are on 3%. So we can just repeat this for a little bit. So to start filling this one back up again, I want to go here and get the shovel. And fill. E. Got to e, e, e to fill. And I don't know if I should be... Oh, I see. So you do actually run out of dirt eventually. Because there, right there, I'm um, coming to the edge of the uh, ground. So I don't know how far down you can dig. I know that some people have tried digging an awfully long way in the pre-alpha thing. And there were some people that managed to go down a very, very long way. But I'm not actually sure. I didn't see how far down people could get. And you can see that we've actually got we're on 59%. We're on we're on a, a, a portion of a percent because of the fact that of where we're digging and how it's working. There, if I can just press E to use there. And I'll dig that. I, I want to try and dig that bit. So it looks like we're not taking a full shovel full if we only dig in certain places. Like dig, dig on the same place there. So let me, let me do that once more. And use. There we go. Right, that is now full. Go back to hand. And I'm starting to think I shouldn't have dug the great big pit right next to it. Perhaps we'll use the bucket next time. And we'll move it from a little bit further away. So we use this and it should be three times to... Whoa! Okay, I rubber banded there. It's called rubber banding, that is. That, that kind of um, strange action that happens there. So they're at 4%. I reckon that if we go to... Oops, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. If we go to like 10% uh, maybe and then do it, I think that a mat when it's full gives you about an ounce of gold. That's what I've been told. So it could take quite a while to fill the thing right up. So, I mean, maybe we could do another couple of um, fill-ups. So we just throw that bit through there. And that's washing in. I can see bits of gold going through. I can actually see them tumbling down the sluice and uh, going into the machine there. So we've got one bucket here. Where's our other bucket? We've got, well, we've got two buckets over here. So we grab one of these and we'll use one of these for picking dirt up. And I'm going to, actually, I'm going to dig a little bit from up here. See if it, I don't think it makes any difference whatsoever where you dig from. How many bucketfuls can you put into the bucket? I don't think it makes any difference at all. I think one bucketful is all you've got. We pick that one up there. Right, I put three in that one. So let's see if it goes to 30% or not. Four. Four percent. And it's empty. Right, okay, so we don't want to be doing that with the buckets. That, that's that's not something that's going to work, and I'm stuck. There we go. Maybe I, I... It looks like you can't jump while you... Oh, yes, you can. I was I was just stuck in that hole that we've dug. So we, we do, you do have to sort of be a bit careful, I think, that you don't dig a massive great big hole underneath you because uh, it could end up causing problems. So let's just, let's dig a little bit further away from us. I mean, we can still dig reasonably close. And keep going over here. Now, we've got this one here, and you can put an extension that will go further down into the stream. There is another, like, section. But that up there, that's where you, you start sort of expanding, and you go to a, a bigger scale of operation. So we're not going to be doing that just yet. We need to use this a few times to get some more money. And then once you get up to that point, you build a great big washer. But you then also want to be scooping up larger amounts of dirt with an excavator of some sort. So we'll be looking at the machinery yard. So I think to start with, most of your action happens over here. Although 
I'm not actually sure because, like I said, I didn't do very much in the pre-alpha. I kind of wanted the game to be fresh to me when I came to it. And I stand by my decision to do that because I'm... Like, th this game is fresh to me and thoroughly enjoyable. I've got no sort of complaints about that. When this is full... I mean, really, the, the next upgrade ought to be the... Uh, the one with the pump. You get a pump and you get that sluice on the top. Plus you have four mats on there. And all you've got to do is you just keep shoveling the stuff in. The water is done automatically. I think, well, at least I'm assuming that's how it would work with the pump. So that you don't have to do this bit by hand. And you get loads of gold. So if we just do that. And we'll go here and we'll tip that in. And then I'm just going to drop that one down and just watch very carefully. I, I did see some gold flowing down here. There, there. Did you see that sparkle? So there's some in the mat. There is some in those mats. Get one more bucket full of water. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're at 10% on both of the mats. So we'll just drop the rest of that in there. I'll drop the bucket down. And those are 11%. Right, both mats are at 11%. I don't actually know what you're supposed to do to the mats after they uh, reach a percentage. It, I think that you do actually have to do something with this and this. But as I'm not sure, rather than trying to puzzle it through, I'm just going to go and watch the old dig tube thing and figure it out. Someone said that this is a journal. We go here and... Oh, you've got your journal here. Tier 1, go to the bank. Rent old Arnold's parcel claim. Go to the warehouse. Buy hog pan, no pump. Hog pan, sluice core. Two hog pan mats. Bucket load on pickup. Um... Set up the hog pan. Use the shovel to fill. Rinse the mats in the bucket. Start panning. So how do you rinse the mats in the bucket? That's tier two. Uh, mobile wash plant, water pump. Go to the heavy equipment. Buy. Oh, that's that's a, that's much higher scale. So uh, we've got to rinse the mats in the bucket. Now, which bucket? That's the bucket. And that there is... I, I don't think it's that one. Is it? So do you need to have water in the bucket? Yeah, I, I need to find this out. But it sort of explained it. So I'm hoping that we can do this. We take a bucket of this. And I haven't... I didn't do any of this with the hog pan thing when I was um, having a go with the, the pre-alpha. So this, this is all new to me. I, I genuinely don't really know what I'm doing with this. So if we bring this one over, you put it into... Uh, it's the bucket of water that you put it into. And what it does, it rinses that one off in there. And then you bring it over and you put that one back. And now if I look at it, that's saying 0%. So we're going to take the other one as well. We bring that one over and we wash that one in the bucket as well. There. So just rinse. And we bring that one and we put it back there. So then we've got this. And I think now that we just pour that on there. I think that's how it's supposed to work. Pour that on there. So we, we've got part of it there. And then we pick this one up. We bring it over to here and we start using it and we start panning. Now, this should, in theory, just do uh, like normal panning for gold. But we should have more here than we have in previous sort of runs of it. So if I tip that water out and I will just do that again it doesn't look like we've got a massive amount in there there's definitely two pieces that I can see and whether they're going to be bigger whether this is going to have paid off or not I'm not quite sure so we, we will see but I can definitely see two pieces I've got to be very very careful tipping them out very very slowly Oop. there we go you, you can tip you can tip them out a bit and you should just you should just be able to get the lighter bits to roll off the top but you don't want to lose the actual gold so there's a couple bits of gold and if we go to pick mode now I got a piece uh, there is a piece there right pick that piece up and pick that piece up as well there, we've got it. Look, 0 0.02 ounces of gold. So it's actually worked. This time, we have actually been able to pan for a bit of gold. And it's worked. It's bigger pieces. And I think that the issue was, previously, that it was working. It's just that the pieces were so small that they weren't actually registering. So if I just go here a minute, tip the rest of that out like that. So that's done with. And then we come out of this mode. 
and we put that down then we go back to here and we tip again and I think I, I don't know how many times we get to do this with the the bucket full that we've got there so let's dump that in the water agitate a little bit there we go agitate agitate and then lift it out I'm not actually sure how much you need to do to be able to clear it um, I think it's just until the water is clear around the earth and that so let's just tip tip carefully I really don't want to risk tipping that gold away I think I may oh no there is two there's two pieces of gold on there it's definitely two pieces of gold there just tip slowly this this is the difficult bit this is the bit that concerns me I don't want to be accidentally tipping this gold away we've worked hard for this gold now so let's get that and those two pieces there is pick one up and that's 0.3 ounces and Ooh, go on go on there we go there's another piece there and that's 0.4 ounces it doesn't look like there's any more nope so we can uh, come out of the gold pick mode so we're back to the same amount that we had previously and I come out of there now we should be able to do one I think there's gonna be one more lot we'll see it might be that we've got more than that even though it looks like actually it looks like you got four pans so you do four pannings for each uh, for, for a bucket full so we've got if you look there you can actually see a couple of smaller bits so I reckon that the smaller bits now if I just bring that up I didn't agitate it at all agitate now and you can see that the earth has gone different color and not the earth the water's gone a different color but it's actually run clean now so I can drain that out and then slowly tip and try to tip carefully there's the two bits of gold so it looks like each one is going to have two bits of gold and we got it to was it um was 11 percent or something like that on the right there's all but two little bits of dirt so if i press shift i can bring that one up it's just getting the crosshairs to light up over the gold like that because these quite sensitive so that's now that time we didn't get quite as much though those were some smaller pieces so we've, we're on 0.5 ounces now oops no i didn't want to do that i want to tip that piece out before i finish there we go now i can finish and uh drop that down pick that one up dump that in and oh, i'm pretty sure there was three pieces there abs I'm, I'm sure there was three let's just drop it in the water we're getting the hang of this so oh yeah it's just 0 0.5 on that tip that out and if i do that again it see it's, it's still it's still dirty but if you agitate it while it's down in there and then you lift it up it cleans it nice and quick now of course the next thing is that we're going to get a little bit too overconfident with this and we're going to end up tipping gold away aren't we careful i can see the gold there have we got three pieces or have we just got two i think it's actually just two whoa 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 right let's um lower that down a bit and we'll pick up this gold here and of course the next thing is to find out what the blacksmith will do with the gold will he allow us uh, you know you know that sort of the smelting option what happens if we go and smelt with like 0 0.06 ounces of gold are we going to get anything for it or not so there's that bit done we have now mined for gold and we've got 0 0.06 ounces of raw ore and we can fill these mats up it's going to cost us 100 dollars to buy the extension and then we could also get the one with the pump but in order to get the one with the pump we need to actually get the pump and set that one up and so if we've got the pump we've got to have an electric generator so it does cost a lot of money to get set up with the the whole pump and everything and fill it up that way I think it would be more efficient but you still got the whole hassle of having to pan manually like that I mean I think there is like was it it's a magnetite separator something like that I can't remember what it's called now but we can what we can do is we can carry on doing a little bit of work here so that's what we're going to do today we're going to do a little bit more of this and we'll do this until we run out of time I think today and we're actually gonna have to go and sleep for the night I don't know if you get any kind of bonuses for sleeping the night there's something that we could find out later on or very actually we'll find that out very soon let's do that one there and what are we at we're at 40% it does take a while to fill these things up all of them it's 
this isn't designed to be a super fast instant gratification game. If you if you're looking for an instant gratification game, this isn't the one to play. This is a, a quite a realistic approach to mining, from what I've been told. I, like I said, I don't know anything about mining whatsoever. This is this is all new stuff to me. And at the moment, I'm finding it quite enjoyable. So we fill that one up. That's uh, filled. So I go back to the hand. And let's get that bucket there, shall we? We use that one. Bring it over to the water. And then bring it to there. And you just got to do this three times to fill that. And that will run through those mats there. So we've done one. And there's a second one. I think by the percentage that we get from on those mats, if we were if we're aiming to fill the mats completely, we're going to be looking at uh, 25 times to completely fill it. So what I'm thinking is, you can see the gold going in. That's at four percent at the moment. That's that's not very much. So I'm thinking that we leave this here. It's getting late, so we could let's just get that bucket there and move it a minute drop that one down we'll spend the night and then we'll head back to town we will see what happens if we smelt our 0 0.06 ounces and then after that there we go day three after we have smelted we're on 31 dollars we will see if we can we do have to be careful also that we don't spend too much time driving backwards and forwards because it's going to use up fuel and fuel costs money um, right, go easy, going out. There we go. Um, we'll get the. Is there any? Actually, I was just wondering if there's anything in there. I don't think there is. I wonder. Ooh, right. Let's just stop you a second and jump out. Um, we want to smelt the bar. We want to get the blacksmith to smelt the bar that we've got and see if that actually provides us with anything. So we've got nothing here. There's a jerry can there, but it doesn't look like there's anything that we can use. So it doesn't look like there's anything here that we can actually use ourselves. Despite there being items here, it's nothing that we're actually able to use, which is a bit of a shame, but that's, that's all right. We can cope with that. Let's start you up again. Handbrake off. And let's get going. Um... 0.6 ounces, or 0 0.06 ounces, I should say, is not going to get us a great deal of money. But if we can smelt that bit, I think once you've smelted something, you take it to the bank. Whether we'd get more money for it, because it's such a small amount, I can't see that it is actually going to be worth it. But it might be. It just might be enough to sort of give us that little extra bit. If we can get... Actually, we're going to need $150, aren't we? If we're going to be able to... We, we could get the hog pan extension. That's $100. But then you also want two more mats, which is another $25 per mat. So you are looking at $150 to be able to do anything with it. So really the, the main purpose of this little excursion is just to see if the blacksmith will smelt uh, 0 0.06 ounces of gold. So we go whizzing over through here. And... We can also take a look at the prices of the other stuff in the shop because we're going to be looking, we're going to need, I think it's a magnetite separator and a, is it a magnetite separator? I think so. But there's a thing in on the map, oh, it's, it's actually by that factory that said magnetite. You look here, we're over here and our claim is down here, but there, magnetite. What does that do? If we tip the, if we tip magnetite in there, what does that actually do? I don't think it's very much from the journal. It just says, rinse the mats in the bucket, start panning. There. Pour pay dirt into the magnetite separator. So the magnetite separator, that's a, a separate machine altogether. Then you've got your wash plant and duplex jig. Pour pay dirt into the wave table. Profit. Okay, that's... Um, other stuff altogether, that is. Th this is like the, the, the big... Oh, magnetite separator. Black sand, as people call magnetite, may be useful under certain conditions, but in gold mining, it's the biggest foe of the miners. We have to use powerful magnets to separate magnetite. We will find out what all of this stuff is for. A lot of you watching this probably already know what a lot of this stuff is for, because you will have played the pre-alpha, and you've played it a lot. Um, 
and yeah I don't regret I still don't regret my decision not to have played that very much because I did want a lot of this to sort of be new I, I played enough to get a basic understanding of the game and what it's going to do but I didn't want to play any more than that I didn't want to spend hours and hours playing the pre-alpha because I felt that it would sort of take away a bit of the excitement and uh, the, the rush you get for playing a brand new game so this is craft and then you've got sell all so if we do this 64 cost and 0 0.01 ounce gold loss so let's oh you we can't actually melt the, it just says that and why isn't it letting us do it i want to melt the gold apparently we can't do that apparently we don't have enough let's go to info smelting price one ounce twelve dollars smelting time two and a half hours five to nine percent uh, it doesn't actually tell us anything at all so ore sale sixty two dollars that's not bad considering how much that we've got sell that ninety four dollars so we've actually that's actually pretty good i'd say that was actually pretty good i'm, I'm quite sort of pleased with that so we, what we're going to need to do is we are obviously going to have to go back to the claim and we're going to have to continue on doing more digging and more washing and sort of keep processing that. So what I think we'll do is keep washing until the mats are at least 50% full. Once the mats are 50% full, we can then... I mean, but maybe we'll go for 100%. Maybe we just go all out for 100% on this first wash. Although I don't really think we need to do that. Um, I think 50% is enough because... The four mats, they ought they ought to be able to get... Uh, do you get more stuff? If you have more mats in there, is it going to end up getting us... Um, are they going to all fill to 2% each, each time? In which case, the sooner you can get the extension and you get four mats running, the better. Because it is going to end up ultimately being more profitable. That's, that's definitely the way to go. So we will take a look at being able to do that. So if we come belting back through... I'll tell you what, I'll meet you back at the claim. We're back at the claim and we're going to carry on doing a little bit. So those mats are on 4% each. So really all I want to do is just get digging. And we're going to have to do quite a bit of digging in order to get those mats filled right up. And if the digging is the bit that seems to take most of the time. Just carry on there. So we'll do this a little bit longer. As soon as we've got enough to pull the extension on it, we can get the extension. We'll also then go to the store. I did actually mean to go into the store when we were in town just now, but I completely forgot about it. So we will have to do that after we've got these mats to 50%. We go to the store. We, well, we'll, we'll go to the blacksmith first and we'll get what we can get there. And then we will go to the store and we can see what the price, because what I want to find out about is the price of um, like some, some of the other stuff because you can take this ore that we've got and instead of having to use the panning system you instead let's just dump that in there we're actually full but uh, I, I need it to be at 100 percent. I, I can't do it at 99 this is just i can't no it's just wrong yeah instead of having to use the panning system if you can use the magnetite separator i'm pretty sure that's actually the same thing I'm I'm ab I'm 90% certain that it's the same thing. Your, your magnetite separator is the bit that gives you the gold. Um, I mean, I might be wrong on that. I might be wrong, but I'm I'm pretty certain that that is the thing that you use instead of the pan. So it um, and it just allows you to do it in bigger quantities rather than having to just do little tiny bits at a time. So a whole bucket full, or even a, I think it's maybe even be able to do a couple of bucket fulls all at once. And then once you've done that, you can um, like gather up all of the gold afterwards. And it's, it's actually pretty quick to um, fill it all up that way. It's just uh, Oh no, I've actually done enough on there. So those are at 7% currently. Let's go back in here. So I've just about run out of time for today's episode anyway. So I will do a little bit more of this and get closer to our 20, uh, our 50% target on there before tomorrow's episode and then we can take a look at kind of the next stage which is going to be extending out our um hog pan sluicing hole uh, scenario thing that we got going on here and sort of we're gonna we're gonna need uh generators we're gonna need um pumps we're gonna need all kinds of things so it's going to take quite a bit of money to really push out the next level of what it is that we're hoping to do here what are we up to we're up to 70 percent um 
And so I'm hoping 50% on here, we get 50% and that's going to be in, provide us with enough cash then that we can at least get the, the hog pan extension, the, the expansion there, plus two more mats. And then after we've done that, okay, we're just going to go for the percentage there. Um, right, why can't I get out? I, I, I'm stuck in the pit to come round each time now. It's very, very slow when you're moving unless you've actually got it on running. Um, yeah, we can see how much, because the extra bits, that's all going to cost quite a bit of money. I think we, we're looking at in the region of, is it like what is... I'm sure it's like $150, maybe even more than that for the generator and stuff. And so if you're expanding out each one of them, we're up to 10% already. That's actually pretty good. And that's done. Start filling it up with earth again. Um, there we go. Yeah, so overall, I think that this is going to be a lot of fun. I think that we're going to have a huge amount of fun doing this. And I think that... Um, it's the sort of game that if you enjoy Farming Simulator, there is a good chance that you'll enjoy this as well. Some of you won't. Obviously, this isn't going to be for everybody. Not every game is for every person. But I'm hoping that plenty of you do enjoy this or certainly enjoy seeing me mess around with it and get it all hopelessly wrong over and over again until eventually I figure it out. Uh, even with the aid of the tutorials, I still seem to struggle. Um, but we, we are slowly getting there. Uh, two more shovelfuls and I can do another one. So I'm going to leave you at this point and I will see you all tomorrow where I will be ready to sluice out our first big lot of stuff. We're going to have 50% on the mats by that point and we will then be able to start um, hopefully moving on to bigger and better things because eventually I want to buy the machines. We've got excavators, we've got mobile wash plants, we've got all kinds of massive scale machinery that we can use and we can do things with and we ain't going to get there until we found ourselves quite a bit of gold just doing it this simple old-fashioned way so yep if you enjoyed this episode please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and i think i've actually done too many on there so what are we at now 15 percent i got a ways to go um so until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.